An East Providence native is about to embark on a 4,000 mile cross country bicycle ride, working to help raise funds for the Boys and Girls Club of Providence. And here to tell us all about it is Judy Davis, along with Nicole Dufresne, CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of Providence. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Judy, you are the one who is taking on this challenge. Tell us a little bit about what you're um, going to embark on. Well, uh, a week from tomorrow, I'll be flying out to Portland, Oregon, and uh, hopping on my bike and pedaling back uh, to Providence. Is this something that you've always wanted to do? What kind of sparked this cross-country ride for to, you? To be honest, uh, last summer, I kind of was drifting around a little bit, wasn't sure what was going on. I'd been biking for a few years. I said, I want to see the country. Why not do it on a bike? Yeah. So that's how it happened. And it's not just you giving your own personal challenge. You're tying it into the Boys and Girls Club. Tell us about that connection. Correct. Uh, I started again about four or five years ago, started swimming at the Fox Point Club mm -hmm. in their master's program. And they, you know, and I saw the work that they were doing and the, and the coach over there is just fantastic and he has such a great interest in the kids and teaching them how to swim that I yeah. said, it's perfect, let's raise some money for their pool programs. The pools are expensive to maintain and these kids really need to learn how to swim. Yeah. Uh, Nicole, speak to that of, of how, you know, it is such a wonderful place, but you have to keep up with it because it's being used every day. Swimming pools are expensive, but I believe they're necessary in the community. Mm -hmm. Everyone deserves access to pools, and that's what the Boys and Girls Club does. Judy's ride will help with that because a portion of the funds are going into an endowment so we can plan for the future, and a portion will be for general operating. Mm -hmm. So we, we're thrilled to have Judy, and when someone takes a hobby of theirs and they connect it to giving to others, it's just really special. Yeah, it's extremely inspiring too. I, 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 you know, I can see your face as she's talking about it, and you seem like kind of, you know, like a humble person. Uh, but yeah. you really are doing something wonderful for for local kids, not just them, but across the country. I hear you're going to be stopping along yeah, the way. Yeah, I'd like to. I mean, I thought as I started thinking about, you know, how this was going to play out, I said, you know, it's a national organization. Mm -hmm. Let's let's get the country involved and yeah. stop along the way and you know let the kids know what's going on and, and just have fun with it. You've been um, tied to the Boys and Girls Club for quite some time or, you, or your family anyways, your, your sisters too. Yeah, my sisters, so there's a, there's a fair age gap between me and my closest sibling mm -hmm. and when they were growing up in the, in the 60s they did not have the opportunity of sports that I had. Right. So swimming was one of the things that they could do and they actually, one of the places that they went was uh, the boys club down when it was on uh, South Main Street. So. Wow. And what does it mean to you to give folks like that, I mean, even looking back years ago to that opportunity for her sisters and, and now some young kids in our area to provide them with something that maybe they would never have a chance to do? So that's what the Boys and Girls Club is all about. Mm. This year is our 150th anniversary. Wow. So the ride is part of the exciting things that we're doing. Um, but our job is to make sure that kids understand who they are and what they're good at. Mm -hmm. um, and people like Judy help us to do that. So whether it's swimming they, they enjoy, which can be a lifelong sport, and also we're helping to keep them safe, to you know maybe understanding that they want to be a marine biologist later in life. Yeah. That's what we do. You know, we're the fun people in the city, and, mm -hmm. and Judy's making it exciting. Yeah. The kids will also be doing geography lessons based on where she is. Oh my goodness. On her ride. You get a lot of eyes following you then. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta, yeah, gotta get this done. Yeah, you ready? You think you're ready for it? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, you know what? That plane ride over, you're going to get a boost of energy going yeah, with you, and, and yeah, it's no, going to be an exciting time. I'm excited. I, I just, you know, to see the country and to have, having been training around here, it's, it's, you know, it's like, okay, I'm training. Whereas mm -hmm. when I'm out there, it's going to be new every day. So yeah. it's really exciting. It'll keep you going, right? Yeah. Wanting to see more. And Thank, get home. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you both so much. Thank Judy, you. best of luck Thank on your you. ride. So happy that you're doing that. Now let's send things over to Will.